Hey, hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing out there? You know who this is, guys. Come on, come on, you know who it is. It's the California Kid. What's up? What's up, people? How y'all doing out there? And most importantly, how are you feeling out there? We all know when we feel good, we just start to do good. Absolutely, guys. Well, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling well. I hope your vibrations are high. I hope your spirit's up. I hope your movement's up. Because I can promise you, when you're moving, you be grooving. When you stop moving, you ain't grooving. Well, hey, guys. It's me, the California Kid, Ramacio Fulcher, coming at you. Guys, hey, what's up? What's up, Trevor? How you doing, brother? Well, listen, guys. I don't want to be here too, too long a day. Just want to come on here, guys. And take a few moments to really go ahead and and uh, share with you guys the proper expectations. You know, building this business called Network Marketing, Direct Sales. Want to come on here this morning. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Danetta, want to come on here and just really kind of, like I said, really help you guys understand how to have the proper expectations. First of all, what I want to do is this, is I want to, we're going to, I'm going to start at the I'm going to start at the end and I'm going to work backwards here. So, if you're involved in network marketing and you're doing this on a part-time basis, which by the way, 90% of you that's what you're doing. You're doing it part-time. That's where I started and initially part-time. Um I want you to know that uh the most important thing you could do is pay attention to the word network marketing. The most important thing you could do is pay attention to the word. If you ever get confused, if you ever feel down, which you will from time to time, uh, hey, what's up, Keith? But but if you really want to know how to do this business, pay attention to the word. The word is network marketing. And so I can promise you guys, if you'll just stay true to the work part, the work, if you'll just stay true to the work part of network marketing, I promise you, you'll make it. I promise you, you'll make it. You'll make it. You will make it. Yes, you will. If you stay true to the work part of the business, through the highs, the lows, through all through the ups and downs, if you stay true to the work part of the business, I promise you guys, you will make it and I will see you at the top for sure. All right? So now, I, I gave you that first for those of you that are just jumping on here this morning and maybe you don't have a lot of time, you know, I'm, I'm calling in from the West Coast. But I just wanted you to know, I just wanted to give you something real simple. And that is to stay true to the work part. And when we talk about work in network marketing, work is not checking your Facebook messengers. Uh, work is not, you know, uh, making sure you got all your business cards and your flyers put together. That's not work. In network marketing, the work part of the business is really simple. It's prospecting every single day. And it's presenting prospecting and presenting or you may hear me say prospecting and recruiting which is the same thing and presenting so every day the question you want to ask yourself is how many people did I prospect today how many people did I present to today okay so if you really want to understand what the work part of network marketing is all about it's about prospecting and presenting. That's it. I see so many people, and I used to be one of these people many, many years ago that would get discouraged and they would get down, you know, and, you know, they would feel like, man, maybe my business is not working. Maybe this thing is, you know, and they start doing what we call rubbernecking. Rubbernecking is when they start looking over, over the fence and looking at other people in the company with as I was saying, they start rubbernecking and they start, you know, looking over the yard and looking over the fence and looking at what other people are doing. And, you know, just to kind of, just to kind of, you know, just to kind of, you know, ensure if they're doing it correctly. And I just want you guys to know, don't do that. Do not do that. I used to do that. It doesn't work. We all have a price to pay for the things that we want. There's going to be a price that you're going to have to pay for the success that you want. And so, you know, as I said, guys, it's, it's called net 
work marketing. Net work marketing. Net work marketing. I'm deliberately repeating myself because I want you to understand I don't care how great your downline, your upline, your sideline, I don't care how great they are, your, your life is not gonna change until you do the work. Your life is not gonna change until you do the work. And that's the truth, guys. You're gonna have to do the work, all right? So listen, um, I want you to know that first. Now, let's gonna go, let's, let's get into uh, the right expectations. This is gonna be really good, and this is gonna be really fast. I hope I want to give all of you guys a chance. Hey, what's up, B? I want to give you a chance to uh, get a pen and paper real quick if you can. If not, just go back and rewatch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it down for you on a silver platter here. Talking about the right expectations. You ready? Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. I'm about to give you the right expectations. The this is gonna be some good stuff here, but it's gonna shock some of you. I'm gonna give you the right expectations. Grab a pen, grab a pen, grab a pen. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, D? All right, here we go. Number one. The right expectations. If you don't grow, your business will not grow. Your entire business is a reflection of you. The strength of your business is a reflection of the strength of you. The speed of your business is a reflection of you. The spirit that flows within your business is a reflection of your spirit. So if you're a negative person, your team will be negative. If you're a positive person, your team will be positive. If you're a take action person, your team will take action, okay? Number one, the business reflects you. That's the bottom. Number one, your business reflects you, you. Talking to Y-O-U, baby. You ain't got no energy. Your team don't have no energy. You talk about, you talk nasty things about your upline. Your team gonna talk nasty things about you. You always like to be stirring up confusion and being all difficult, not coachable. Your team not gonna be coachable. Remember what I said, baby. This business is gonna, ref your team is gonna reflect you. That's number one expectation. Number two. Number two, one out of every four people that you enroll the proper way is going to engage in the business. One out of every four that you enroll the proper way is going to engage in building the business. Let me say it slowly so that there's no misunderstanding. I said one out of every four that you enroll the proper way. And enrolling someone the proper way means finding out what's missing in their life. What are they looking for? What's their reason why? How many hours a week are they willing to contribute towards doing the business, okay? These are the types of things when we say enrolling them the proper way. There is a big difference between selling someone a kit versus enrolling them the proper way. One out of every four that you enroll properly will engage and move forward in the business, okay? One out of every four, all right? It's the second expectation I want you to know. Third expectation I want you to know, 90% of all the people in the business, 90%, 90% of all the people in the business will not work the business consistently. 90%, I hope you're writing this down, 90, 90%. Of all the people in the business will not work it consistently. Can y'all see me? I don't know why my screen looks a little dark. Give me a thumbs up if you can still see me. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Maybe. Okay. 90% will not 
work the business consistently. I want to explain to you why this is true. <laughs> this is true because most people are not willing to do uh, what's necessary on a consistent basis. Most people, uh, they, they, will, they will work the business intermittently. They will, merc they will work the business intermittently. Intermittently. They'll work it intermittently. Uh, you know what? I want to work a little bit uh, uh, this week. I don't really want to work next week. Uh, mm -mm, I'm not really feeling it. I didn't like the last conference call they did. Uh, no, I'm going to I'm going to wait until this happens. That happens. You know, uh, I got a vacation. I got this. I got that. You know, I'm just I don't know. No, you know, I'm involved. But, you know, yeah, I haven't really done anything this week. I haven't done anything la la next week. You know. Just being honest, 90 percent of the people, 90 percent of them, they will not work the business consistently. Now, I'm, I'm sharing this with you today so that you don't get disappointed as you begin to build whatever company you're building, you know? I'm sharing this with you so that you don't get disappointed, okay? 90% will not work the business consistently. 90% of the people in your organization are going to pretty much just consume the product or the service. That's what they're going to do. 90% of the people, for the most part, are going to just consume the product and or the service. Even though they told you, yes, they wanted to make some extra income. Okay? So what you need to discover is that a lot of people will tell you they want to make extra money. They will say that. Yes, they will. But when it comes down to doing the work, and what is the work? Prospecting and presenting consistently. When it comes down to doing the work, this is where you're going to find that most people, for whatever their reasons are, they just will not consistently do it. They won't. Maybe it might be fear. Maybe it might be, I ran out of people to talk to. I mean, I don't even want to get into all the excuses. I'm just sharing with you uh, what is going to happen? I've been doing this for over 11 years and I've been doing it at a very high, high level. So I can tell you what's going to happen. It's not a domestic thing. Uh, it's not an international thing. It's a worldwide thing. This is what happens in building a network marketing or direct sales business. Now, okay, so we talked about that. Uh, let's see here. Let me give you another expectation that you should have. You will never be able to make everyone in your organization happy. You will never be able to make everyone in your entire organization happy. You will never be able to do it. Never. I don't care what your personality type is. You will never make everyone happy. You won't. Okay? I want you to make sure you understand that. Also... Uh, there will be people that don't like your style. Maybe you might be too, uh, you know, there will be people that will not like your style. Let's just leave it at that. They won't like how you do what you do. Maybe you, you post too much about your family. Maybe you, you know, you're always posting about sports or maybe you're, you know, you're just too quiet. You're too squeaky voice. You're too loud. You're too this. You're too that. You're just, I'm just letting you know so that way you don't get your feelings hurt. Is that you, you will never be able to make everybody happy. You won't. Okay. Uh, the right expectation. The easy way, the, excuse me, the easier way to build this business is to build it fast. Network marketing and direct sales, it loves speed, okay? It loves speed. It loves speed. This is the easier way to do it. The slow way of building the business is why most people don't make it because it's just too agony, it's too much agony 
uh, just to consistently, you know, uh, just, you know, one here, one there. It's just, and that's why most people that, that build it that way, uh, they just nine times out of 10, they end up quitting eventually. Okay. So this business loves speed. The right expectations. When you enroll someone into the business, their only job in the beginning should be to introduce you to their network of people. When you enroll someone in the beginning, their only job in the beginning is to introduce you to their network of people. When you enroll someone in the beginning, their only job is to introduce you to their network of people. That's their only job because they're brand new and it's your job to help them share the story, to share the story while they learn and both of you make money together. Let me say that again. I don't care what company you're building. If I, I'm in, obviously you guys all know I'm happily involved in World Global Network. But if I was involved in any company and I enrolled you, the very first thing I'm going to have you do is introduce me to your network. Introduce me to the people that you know so I can share the story and help you make some money. Okay? So I want to make sure you have the right expectation when you enroll people. Because some of you, you enroll people and you throw a huge, huge book at them and say, hey, all of these things you need to do. What? What? They're brand new. Okay? The only thing a brand new person is supposed to do is introduce you to their to their introduce you to their network. That's it. That is it, okay? Uh let's see here. Let me give you some other right expectations here. Uh Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Every four levels, you will always find, if you're, let me say this slowly. If you are building the business the proper way, every four levels, you will always find a superstar. A superstar is someone who is willing to consistently share the business at least four times a week and get some results. Let me say it again. A superstar, wait a minute. If you're building the business the, 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 the correct way, every four levels. And when I say four levels, let's say you introduce me. I'm on your level one. I introduce Charlie. Charlie's on your level two. Charlie introduces Bob. That's your level three. And Bob introduces Sarah. That's your level four. Okay. So if you are building the business the correct way, every four levels deep, you will always find a superstar. Okay, now I want to define really quickly what is a superstar. A superstar in network marketing or direct sales is someone that is willing to share the plan. In other words, do presentations four times a week and they're getting results. Listen to me, write this down. A superstar is someone that is willing to share the presentation, a minimum, a minimum of four times a week, minimum. Now in my company, World Global Network, because it's easier to do presentations because of the system that we have, we expect people to do presentations three to five times a day, three to five times a day because of our system. But for all of you that are watching me that are, that are not within my company and maybe you're in another company, Industry standard, industry standard, 
four times a week. Four times a week. What's up, big bro? You doggone right I'm a superstar. You, you doggone right I'm a superstar because I learned it all from you, man. I love you so much, big bro. Love you so much. Love you so much, man. You taught us at a very young age how to work hard, go hard, and that's all we know, baby. I don't know nothing else. I don't, when I was born, I was a star. <laughs> nah, man, thank you so much. But anyway, a superstar is somebody that's willing to show the plan four times a week. Four times a week, okay? Four, and they're getting results. Guys, this is a big one that I'm giving you. This is this is huge, and I want you to receive this. A superstar is not, you know, the next triple backflip diamond. That's not a superstar. No, 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 no. A superstar is an average ordinary person who's willing to consistently do the work of doing four presentations a week and getting results. That is your superstar. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if they're willing to do four, uh, four presentations a week and they're getting results, that means at a bare minimum, they should be earning $500 a week in income. If they're earning $500 a week in income, that's $2,000 a month, baby. And let me tell you something. A superstar in network marketing is a person that earns an extra $2,000 a month. Now, some of you may be saying, $2,000 a month, they're a superstar. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Here's why. When you duplicate Many people in your organization that are making $2,000 a month, watch this. Watch this. When you have five people making $2,000 a month, you'll be making $10,000 a month. Let me say it again. When you have five people making $2,000 a month, you'll be making $10,000 a month. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Young man knows what he's talking about. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have 10 people making $2,000 a month, you'll be at $20,000 a month. Come on now. Come on now. I told you I keep it simple for you. That's, and so forth and so on. You guys can do the math from there. Five people, five people making, five people making $2,000 a month, you're at 10. 10 people making $2,000 a month, you're at 20. And so forth and so on. So now do you understand why a superstar is an average person who is willing to show the plan four times a week and get some results. Okay. A superstar is somebody who's willing to show the plan four times a week and get results. Okay. And every four levels deep, every four levels deep, you will always find a superstar if you're building the business the correct way every four levels deep, all right? So, hey, listen, guys, look, I just wanted to come on here and kind of give and help you make sure that you have the, the proper expectations as you're building your business. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why some people quit the business too soon or don't follow through in the business is they have the wrong expectations. They have the wrong expectations. And when you have the wrong expectations, it's very disappointing when you were expecting this and then the business keeps showing you that. And so today, my goal was to encourage you and my goal was to leave you with the right expectations. Network marketing, by far, it's not an easy business to build. And the reason why it's not easy is because you're dealing with people. And the one thing on this journey in network marketing that you're gonna learn is that there's, a, there, there's, there's tons of differences in people. There are a tremendous amount of differences in people. 
You'll see a lot of people talk a good game. They'll say they're going to do it and don't do it. You'll see that some people are, it, you'll, you'll just learn a lot about people. You'll learn a lot. People are priceless. I love people. One of the things that as a leader, as you grow in the business, you have to learn to do. You have to learn to love people right where they are. In other words, I see so many leaders, they want to fix this person. Let me tell you something. You can't fix nobody. The only person that can fix somebody is themselves. You can't fix nobody. Okay. All that man is and all that women is, all that man is and all that man will ever be, he or she must discover for themselves. We'll say that again. All that man is and all that he ever will be, all that man is and all that he ever will be, he must discover for himself. Okay? So what I'm saying through that, uh, through that, through that point there is that you can't fix people. Stop trying to fix them. Learn to love them right where they are. Learn to love them right where they are, period. Some will do it, some won't, so what? Next, and I love you. As I say next, I love you, right? Okay, you gotta understand that. So today I wanted to give you the right expectations. I just told you, one out of every four that you enroll properly is gonna engage. I just told you, 90% of the people are pretty much gonna just be customers. Okay, I just told you 90% of the people in your organization aren't going to really do much. I just told you the truth. They're going to work the business intermittently. Okay, <laughs> just telling you how it works. So if you want to do the business the right way, it's called network marketing. Answer this question. How many people today or yesterday did you prospect? How many people did you prospect? Hey, are you open to making more money? Hey, are you open to learning more about my, my product or service? You know, how many people did you did you prospect yesterday? I mean, you want to know that you're going the right direction? Answer these two questions. How many people did you prospect? Number one. And number two, how many people did you present to? Did you share the plan with? If you did those two things, I'm so proud of you. You are doing the business the right way. Now, here's the tough part. You got to do it again tomorrow and you got to do it again the next day and you got to do it again in the summer, winter, spring and fall. And that's what separates the amateurs from the pros. That's what separates the boys from the men, the girls from the women. That's what that's how you're going to change your life. Being consistent. Persistency will get you there, but only consistency will keep you there. Persistency will get you there, but consistency is the only thing that will keep you there. Hey, I love each and every single one of you guys. I'm the California Kid, Ramasio Fulcher. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.